All right, so let's convert a CSV file into a V card or a VCF file for the purpose of importing contacts into iCloud from a Windows PC. I've got a CSV right here or a list in Excel of different phone numbers, names, etc. And what we're going to do is save this file as a V card. Right now it's called raw contacts, but I'm going to save it right here into my hit em up folder. So this will be called um, 100 sample contacts or just raw contacts. And I want to save it here as a CSV comma delimited, but I've already done that on my desktop. So I'm going to click cancel and here it is. So there are my raw contacts on my desktop. And what the next step is we're going to import our raw contact file by clicking the start button and then run and then we're going to type contacts in here to open up the contacts window. Push these little tabs here and push import. Import will allow us to import our CSV file. So we click CSV and the next step is we need to tell the computer how to map up our header row or our fields into our contacts. So I click on raw contacts. Those are, that's my CSV file. Click next. And here are the fields it finds at the top of my CSV file. And now I need to tell the computer, well, what fields do these match up to on a normal V card or contact? So I need to click uh, first name for the first name last name for the last name. And basically what you see here is that we're selecting import this field. So we're telling Windows to import the field from our CSV file as a contact field. So I'm mapping the phone number to my mobile phone number, which is what we need for hit em up. We're gonna just select email address for email and click import this field, click okay. When everything looks good, click finish. Now we're importing the CSV file and you can see it creates all these dot contact files in my contacts. Cool. Well, the next step is to check one of these things and make sure that it's all correct, that all the fields are matching how we want. And when we're ready, we can click export. So I can select one of these and click select as a V card, select export as a V card, which is what we can use for iCloud. And I'll just save that to the desktop or to the wherever on here. We could save it to contacts. We're going to make a new folder in our contacts here and just save it for our V card uh, export. So that's a VCF file. When we export multiple V cards, we call it a VCF. So we're exporting that now. And there we go. There's our folder. And as you can see, all of our contacts are now saved as V cards. And we can look at them and see that the cell phone is correct, the name is correct, everything is how it should be. Now there's one little thing we have to do. We're going to have to open it under the notepad and change the version number from 2.1 to 3.0. So that would be the next step is in order for us to import this into iCloud, as you're going to see, we're going to try copying this, but it could not import because it's not on the right version of, of vCard. So we need to just actually change the version number in the text editor there, which is pretty easy to do. So what we're going to do, is select this, make sure all of our contacts are there that we want to import. When you're ready, press the Windows Start button and then open up the Run command and we're going to go to the command line now. So type Run, so open CMD. Then we're going to go to our folder using cd. cd is a command that means change directory and copy this path at the top here into our command line right here and open that up and then we're going to give it this command right here. You can copy this down. It's on our blog post but you're going to copy this and essentially what this is going to do is go through all of the v cards here and copy them into one file that we can now edit. And there it is. It's all in this all contacts file now. And then what we can do is click open with notepad. And 
search for where we see version 2.1 and change it to 3.0. So what we're going to do is click find and replace and you see how it's all over here, the, all, the, all of these 2.1. So we're going to replace all of those with version 3.0. And to do that, I'm just going to delete that and write 3.0, just like that. And what we're going to do is just search for it throughout the document now by clicking Edit and Replace. So that's Control H or Edit and then Replace. And you see that it already knows what we were looking to replace because we changed that one line. But essentially, we want to change the version from 2.1 to 3.0 and then click Replace All. And there we go, it's done. Save that by pushing Command or uh, Control S. And you see that it's changed everything in this file, just like that. And there we go. We got this uh, v VCF file that's ready to import. So I'm gonna drag that to the desktop real quick. Go back to iCloud and try this again. So open up iCloud, drag our new VCF file into all contacts or into our hit em up group, which would be even better so that we can actually have it directly import into hit em up as a group which is already ready to use in the app. Drag and drop and let it go. Now you see it's importing at the bottom there. That's what you want to see. That's what we're looking for. All right. Give it a second here. It'll take a little bit because there's quite a few contacts in there, but and again, all of this is available on the blog at hitemupapp.com. You can check out all the tips there and get instructions and commands like what we typed into the command line if you don't want to type it yourself. You can see all the instructions there. But here we go. And the cool thing about this is that these are now all available. All these contacts are correctly mapped and available in Hit em up. So assuming that you have the same iCloud account on your iPhone, iPad, whatever iDevice you're using to use Hit'em Up on, these will automatically sync. Thanks and have a great day.